everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Tiger King Quick Access Biometric Gun Safe. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the retail box right here. How to come packaged to you with the Tiger King logo and branding on it. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the included contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have our warranty information followed by our user guide and manual. Check this out, it's gonna walk us through all the product settings and features so we can learn how to first open it, how to install batteries, how to set a code, how to set our fingerprint. Then we have customer service and warranty info as well as some additional products. Next, you can see we have four screws and four wall anchors. We also have two keys. You can see the keys here. And last but not least, we have the safe itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. So here's the safe up close. Check it out, you can see Tiger King logo and branding. Then you can see we have our fingerprint sensor right here. And we have our four buttons if we wanna set a code. Then you can see the lock for the included keys. Here it is from the front side. Here it is from the right side and the left side. Now we can look at it from the back side, so you can see that right there. And here it is from the bottom. So we have our four mounting holes if we want to use the included screws and anchors for a more permanent storage option. Now let's flip it back over and let's go ahead, let's open it up with the included keys. So just insert them and then twist it. And you can see it opens, it's got a nice hinge. Everything looks great, we have some removable foam in here. So you can see the included foam. It also reveals those four holes again. We also have a reset button in here. It's gonna be hard to show on camera, but there is a reset button down here, right where my finger is pointing on the inside side, the back side right there towards the bottom. And then we have our battery compartment bay over here. So we can go ahead, we can pull that cover off so you guys can see that. There's the cover, the batteries go right here. It needs four AA batteries, they are not included so now let's go ahead let's set this up and try it out so i have four AA batteries installed in the safe and now it's set up so we can use the keypad the default code is one two three four there we go it opens up now we can change that code if we want so let's go ahead let's change it so just press the reset button enter your new code between four and six digits press the reset button again then enter your code again press the reset button again, and you should be all set and ready to go. So here we go, I pressed it. Now let's change it to four, three, two, one, press it again. Now let's enter it one more time, four, three, two, one, and press it again, and there we go. Now we can test it, four, three, two, one. You can see it's gonna work, so let's shut it. And now let's open it up. First, we're gonna try one, two, three, four. So you can see it doesn't work anymore, but now let's do the correct code, four, three, two, one. And there we go, it opens up, no issues. Now it's time to set up the fingerprint sensor. So to set up the fingerprint sensor, we have to do a couple of things, just like the combo code. We have to press the reset button and then scan our finger a couple of times. So here we go. And then we're scan it one more time. There we go, it only took three scans and now our thumb can be used to open up the safe. So here we go, check that out, look at that. Everything works great. Now let's try our pinky so you know that it's accurate. So it does not work there. If you refer to page five of the user guide and manual, after five wrong attempts, an alarm will go off and the safe will start blinking red for two minutes and it can only be opened with the keys. So keep that in mind, if you do five wrong entries with the fingerprint sensor, it's only gonna be able to be opened with the keys and an alarm will sound for two minutes. Also, if you're wondering, it can only support up to five fingerprints can be registered at a time. So keep that in mind. And it is smart enough to know if you're gonna register duplicate fingerprints. So now let's go ahead, let's get some guns and see how they fit in the safe. So check it out, we have a couple of different guns in the safe right here. So first up, we have a handgun in a holster, another handgun in a holster, and we have a couple of magazines all tucked away safely in our gun safe. No issues there, plenty of room. You can store multiple weapons if you want, some ammo, some magazines, some accessories, cash, whatever you desire, you can fit it 
in the safe and have everything be protected. Now, just for fun, I went ahead and activated the alarm so you guys can hear how everything sounds. Again, it'll beep for two minutes as the alarm's triggered and you can see everything is blinking red. The only way to get into the safe now is to use the key. And if you want it to stop beeping, you'll have to take the batteries out. So let me show you my final thoughts in regards to this safe. Obviously I haven't set it through a fire or anything like that to know how it's gonna hold up in regards to extreme heat or anything like that. But in regards to just protecting a loaded weapon around your house from children, intruders, anybody you don't want to have access to it, I'm very pleased with the quality of this safe. There's more room inside than I was expecting too, so I'm happy we could actually get multiple weapons and some ammo and magazines in there. And there's still room for cash, IDs, passports, things like that if you want. I'm happy with the fingerprint sensor. It's fairly accurate. I haven't really had a lot of misreadings. Only every once in a while, if I have my finger too far up or too far down, it won't get the proper reading. But as long as you just set your fingerprint on there for a second or two, it will respond and open it up. But I'm very pleased that we have the biometric option and we still have a physical code in the off chance one of them isn't working, you should be able to get to your weapon very quickly. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.